Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today I'm doing the weekly Star Wars recap for June 22nd, 2020. So yeah, um, past week there's a few news stories, mainly the uh, reveal trailer and gameplay uh, reveal for Star Wars Squadrons. So I'll be talking about that. I, I did do two videos on that already, so I'm not going to talk about that for too long. There's Several other stories too. Some I'm gonna have to uh, kind of brush it over real quick, but um, yeah, I don't know how long this uh, one's gonna be. So yeah, I'm gonna just jump right into the new releases for this upcoming week. Or well, first uh, I gotta go through new releases. Well, uh, released in the last week, which was two uh, Jedi Temple Challenge episode three. Did not watch that yet. Um, and this is gallery of the Mandalorian episode eight connections, which was good. I I really enjoyed that. You can check my review out for that. But um, anyways, we have new releases coming out this week, which is quite a few. Um, starting off with a new novel, uh, Shadow Fall, which is a sequel to Alphabet Squadron. I'm currently reading through Alphabet Squadron right now. I'm not gonna get it done in time, most likely. Um. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get done. I'm recording this Sunday afternoon, so I'm probably gonna read some more. Um, you know, the day this video goes up, I might just read it all and get my review out tomorrow. Maybe we'll see. Um, I'm hoping, but um, if not, it'll be out. The Alpha Squadron review will be out sometime later this week, and the Shadowfall review will follow. Not too long after that, but, um, yeah, I'm excited for it, um, uh, I'm enjoying half the squadron, um, anyways, uh, next new release is, um, the, uh, PS4 and Nintendo Switch release of Star Wars Episode One Racer, which is, you know, a pod racer game, I believe it came out in a PS1, I believe in 99, uh, and there's a few other, uh, pod and racer games, but, um, yeah, um, I probably won't be playing it, so I don't know. Um, so yeah, but then that comes out June 23rd, 2020. Uh, same as Shadowfall. I might have not mention that, which is uh, tomorrow, Tuesday. But um, then there's a few new comics. Uh, Bounty Hunters issue 3, which comes out June 24th, 2020. So next issue of that. Excited to read that. I'll probably have a review of that out this week, too. And then, uh, Star Wars Adventures, The Clone Wars Battle Tales Issue 2, which comes out, uh, June 24th, 2021, which is Wednesday, also. Um, I, I like the first issue. I, I, I might read the second one. I'm not sure. Um, I, I probably won't do reviews till all the issues are out, so, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see, but, um, anyways, then, uh, Episode 4 of the Jedi Temple Challenge, uh, comes out, uh, Probably Wednesday, you know, I'm not really sure, so, yeah, um, and who knows, maybe there'll be a Galaxy of Adventures thingy this week, um, they did release one, but if this was a, um, the uh, four Empire Strikes Pack shorts they released for the 40th anniversary, combining all four of those together, in one thing, so, it was nothing new, um, at least I, I only watched half of it, and I'm like, oh, I already watched this, so I stopped watching it, but, um, yeah, anyways, um, talking about the Empire Strikes Back, let's jump into the news. Which, first up, the uh, Empire Strikes Back, from a certain point of view, um, I believe like six stories have gotten short descriptions with who's going to be writing them, and every other single author has been confirmed. Um, so yeah, obviously I'll be here all day listing off all the authors, so I'll kind of throw all their names on the screen, and <laughs> yeah, um, to say just 40, I'll, I'll be mentioning six here, because, you know, of the stories they will be writing have descriptions, but, um, yeah, anyways, um, I'm gonna jump into the, uh, six stories here, which, uh, all of this comes from StarWars.com, uh, an article there, so, yeah. But, uh, first up, the, um, first story mentioned will be written by Austin Walker, which, uh, short little description says that uh, we'll explore the unlikely partnership of bounty hunters Dengar and IG-88 as they pursue Han Solo. 
So, um, you know, following them and team up. I wonder if uh, they'll mention IG88 at Cloud City. Because, you know, in the um, room where Chewie goes and gets the parts from 3PO back, and then, you know, like, not, you can see, like, parts of IG88 in the background, um, which I, I believe it's supposed to be IG88, but, uh, you know, they could wreck on it, but, um, or, you know, just make IG88 and Dengar both uh, go to Cloud City, so, yeah, um, Anyways, the uh, next story will be written by Hank Green, which says, um, anyways, a short description or, or story says, Hank Green uh, chronicles the life of a n naturalist caring for tauntauns on the frozen world of Hoth. So yeah, uh, when I originally read this, I, my head went to, oh, it's a story from the point of view of a tauntaun. <laughs> I don't know why. I, must be an idiot, but, um, yeah, uh, you know, it's about one of the caretakers of the Tauntaun, so, yeah, but oh, obviously that's so fine. I obviously wouldn't really like it. one story to be from the point of view of a Tauntaun, but that's okay. Um, anyways, the uh, next story, um, by Tracy Dion. Dion, I, I don't know, but um, it says that they uh, delved into the dark heart of the Dagobah cave where Luke confronts a terrifying vision. So yeah, th this one I'm, I'm very excited for. Um, you know, just uh, trying to see more of the dark side cave, see how it thinks, I guess, and how the force kind of works there and whatnot, so, or more you know, learning how it works there, um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm interested to, uh, read that one, um, so yeah, but, uh, the next story will be by Martha Wells, which, description from her, her story says, uh, that they'll reveal the world of the Ugnaught clans who dwell in the depths of Cloud City, so, um, you know, from the point of view of an Ugnaught, which is cool, and, well, you know, a clan, I don't know how many Ugnaughts there will be, Maybe Quail will be part of them. I don't know. Probably not. But uh, that'd be cool, huh? But yeah. Interesting. Uh, to see that. But um, anyways, next one story, which will be in my Mark Ushiro. Uh, it says that they'll uh, recount the Wampa's tragic tale of loss and survival. So, um, you know, the Wampa, you know, what I would assume, attacks Luke and... And, you know, obviously gets his arm cut off, kind of seeing what his thought process of, about Luke, uh, and, uh, maybe, you know, he's like, um, like in Monsters, Inc., the, uh, abominable snowman, or, or, it was a Yeti or something, like that. and, yeah, yeah, the Yeti, the abominable snowman, and, uh, Monsters, Inc., maybe he's like that, and just wants to, like, have like snow cones, the flu was what was that the joke in the uh, yeah I, I believe that what it was. I haven't watched that movie in a while, so <laughs> yeah. Um maybe just wanted to do that and then Luke cut his arm off and who knows, uh we'll find out. <laughs> but um anyways the uh final story, um it'll be written by Seth or well, it won't be the final one. It's the final one mentioned. Um will be written by Seth Dickinson, um, says in the uh, description, Seth Dickinson interrogates the cost of serving a ruthless empire aboard the bridge of doomed Imperial starship. So, um, I assume an officer on the bridge of a star destroyer, you know, yeah. I don't know what doomed star, Imperial starship it would be. I don't remember any starship being destroyed. Or Star Destroyer can destroy like that. Obviously, there's probably some TIE Fighters, but that's... You know, they don't have a bridge, so... They're small, so I don't know, but... Uh, <laughs> it'd be interesting. Um, yeah, uh, these stories, I'm definitely excited for the Bounty Hunter one, and the um, Dark Side Cave one. The Wampa one, too. Um, yeah. Yeah, three of them 
and yuck knots and whatnot, but um, I would don't know when we get more details. Um, for you know more stories and whatnot. Uh, I don't know when. Maybe the San Diego Comic Con thingy. What's happening next month? I don't know. But um, yeah, the uh, book will release November tenth. So yeah. But um, there's some other comic and book news too, which I'll get to uh, first. First up, there's uh, I'm not gonna talk about this too long, but for the uh, upcoming like anthology fable story thing, Dark Legends, they gave some artwork for some of the uh, stories and some details. But um, you know, I'm not gonna go super in detail about that. One of the pictures shows a uh, someone on Exegol with a bent lightsaber, so that's weird, but, um, yeah, it'll come out July 28th, which it's like, you know, and there's a Myth and Fables book when it came out, um, last year, which will be written by the same guy, and, um, this time it's more about, like, the dark, you know, side characters, like, some legends about them, so, yeah, but, um, Anyways, uh, some of the comic books got new release dates also, so I'll be going over those. Um, it's for uh, September ones now, uh, which obviously uh, all of them we already know about and have descriptions for, and I've mentioned them in a previous episode, so I'm not going to go super in-depth there, but um, still I know we're not in the Rise of Skywalker comic adaptation when the first issue of that will be coming out, so... Yeah, um, in September, uh, there will be no issue on the, uh, second. So, uh, yeah, but, um, issue six of the main Star Wars ongoing series from Charles Stoll will release on, uh, September 9th. Then on September 16th, issue five of the Vader ongoing series, uh, run by, uh, Greg Pak will come out on the 16th, like I said. And then on September 23rd, Bounty Hunters Issue 5 will come out. Which, you know, that's run by Ethan Sachs. And then finally, Issue 4 of the Dr. Aphra series, um, ongoing series, will be run by, which is run by Lisa Wong, will come out September 3rd, 30th. So, yeah, um, I don't know about the adventure stuff. Um, couldn't find anything on the Clone Wars Battle Tales Issue 5. But the, you know, there's going to be a relaunch of the adventures main ongoing series, which I believe the first issue will come out September 16th, and the second issue will come out September 21st. I'm not really sure, and that stuff's all confusing and whatnot, but yeah. Anyways, um, next story is about Star Wars Celebration, um, which was supposed to happen in August of this year in Anaheim, but they cancelled it, which, you know, sucks, but was inevitable. Um, in fact, I'm surprised it took them this long to cancel it, but they did announce that Celebration will return to Anaheim in 2022 for Star Wars Celebration 2022, which, um, will run from August 18th, 2022 to August 21st, 2022, so, yeah, um, Saxon won't be one this year, and the next one won't be till 2022, so, yeah, but, uh, there, I'm assuming it'll probably be a know, a full trailer for the next film then, and, you know, stuff for Disney Plus and whatnot, so, yeah, um, don't know if there'll be any, like, digital celebration this year, I would assume there won't be, and then any announcements they're gonna make, uh, they'll either make them at random, or, like, the San Diego Comic Con at home thingy, what's happening next month, so, yeah, um, You know, or sweet. Obviously, next year there'll be the D23 convention too, so I assume there'll be Star Wars stuff then also. But yeah, um, in this year, I assume it's just been some stuff for Mandalorian and um, some uh, animation stuff, and books and comics and squadrons, but um. Yeah, anyways, um, talking about squadrons, let's jump into that, so, you know, uh, last week on Tuesday, 
Or no, it was Monday. It was Monday. Um, the uh, reveal trailer was released. This was a uh, cinematic with a few other details. And then on Thursday, a uh, gameplay reveal happened. Um, and shown gameplay and whatnot. And which I, I did two videos on that. On the uh, reveal trailer and the gameplay reveal. Um, the reveal trailer, I talked more like about the details of gameplay. I talked about details, but I gave more of my thoughts. Which, you know, I'll, I'll basically just be reiterating some stuff here, so I'm just going to keep it mostly brief. Um, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm very excited for the game. I'm, you know, I'm, I just love uh, the idea of a pilot game. But, um, you know, we will have a uh, story mode. We can play as uh, two pilots and a new Republican Imperial pilot, which are fully customizable. Um, so you can change them however you please. The canon, canon uh, appearances and whatnot will probably be the ones we saw in the uh, reveal trailer. Um, and most of the story seems like it'll take place after the Battle of Endor, so yeah. Maybe like the first mission, like such like tutorial mission, would be the Battle of Endor, which would be pretty cool. But who knows? Um, who knows? But I, I the story, I it probably won't be that long. It'll probably be like three to five hours. So yeah, obviously it could be longer. It could be even shorter. Who knows? But, um, the the main focus of the game is the multiplayer, which includes two modes. Uh, which first is dogfight mode, which is, you know, just 5v5 dogfighting. I believe the only objective is destroying the other team's ships, so. Yeah, um, I would assume it'd be, like, first, like, 20, 50 kills or something like that. I don't know, I didn't really say, but, um, then, uh, there will be a flight battle mode. I, I forget the name of it, but, um. Where it'll still be 5v5, um, but, you know, I would assume there'll probably be, like, computer fighters also. Not sure on that, though, but, you know, it's about doing, like, some objectives and whatnot, and it seems like it has a very strategic element to it, because, um, at the start, you, um, in, like, a briefing room, and you, like, make your battle plan with your squad and whatnot, so that's cool, and, and definitely a cool way of, um, Integrating it for like, because it's very you have to work together and whatnot, and you know, um, a way of communication without you know, like people aren't using headsets and whatnot. Which, you know, what one thing I'm, I'm not always someone who wants to play multiplayer game and talk to people. So yeah, so you know, it's nice you can have a little make a battle plan and whatnot. And, I, I would assume also in game there'll be some like emotes or something like that where you can like make little call outs. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I don't know though, but um, you know, in this mode it'll be you know, the, the main objective is to eventually get to the flag, the um, enemy team's flagship and destroy it. Um, you know, it, either the um, Imperial Star Destroyer or the um, New Republic. Um, I believe it's. I don't know what the name of the ship is. Uh, you know, the, the flagship. It's, it's like the. Um, I believe it was like a Mon Calamari ship or something like that. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I forget. It's like the M. Let me look this up. It's gonna bother me. You know, MC Star Cruiser, I would assume, is what it would be. Is the flagship. Uh, it'll be destroying. So, yeah. I don't know, but, um. Yeah. But, um. You know, it, like I said, it's very. You have to work together. You know, not fly solo. I would assume you'd probably be able to, like, split up into two teams. Uh, like, maybe, like, a team of two and team of three. And, you know, do stuff like that, too. Because, like, 
It also shows like when the enemy team is attacking your flagship, like you can go back and defend it and whatnot. I would assume you could do the thing where you send like three people to go back and defend it while to uh, continue to do whatever they were doing beforehand. But yeah, but the uh, gameplay is also completely in first person, so you know, you're in the cockpit and you, they said you can play the entirety of the game in VR, so that's cool. But you know, you, all the stuff is there, you know, you got like a targeting system and like, um, I guess, sensor for like other ships, uh, like laser charge thingy, I would assume, like for, you know, it's gonna get like overheated or something like that, and then. Like a status thingy for like the health of your ship, a power control, you know, you can put more power in the speed or um, like weapons or um, at least for new Republic ships because uh, in the universe it's not for and like TIE fighters or not, but I uh, put more into the shields and whatnot, so. Yeah, and um, they also showed all the customization stuff off, which I guess you can get completely in game, no microtransactions, is what they said. And yeah, but uh, the game is right now, so it'll come out October 2nd, cost $40, so not a full fledged $60 title, which is nice. But yeah, um, anyways, yeah, that's really it. You can watch the gameplay reveal trailer to probably talk about it better than I can. Uh, so, yeah, and, and you can actually see the game play. I'll, I'll probably have this trailer playing, though, so, yeah. But, um, anyways, uh, lastly, there's, um, the full wave of, uh, summer 2020, um, LEGO Star Wars set has been revealed. I did a video on that, um, and because I wrote a lot of stuff, and I really wanted to talk about it, so I kind of did a separate video. Um, but, you know, I'm pretty excited for most of the wave, um. Most of the time with the waves, there's like half of the wave. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm I'm into those sets, and the other half, it's like, yeah, whatever. But this wave, like, pretty much most of the sets I'm excited for, so probably end up getting most of them. But, um, yeah, uh, even though I probably should stop the Legos, um, but yeah. <laughs> I'll probably be doing some more Lego videos, uh, either news, and even, like, set reviews, too. Um, I do have a lot of sets. I might just do, like, a collection video. I, I kind of want to, like, go through some of my older stuff. Like, I have a bin of them, but, um, you know, it's all... Pieces and I have to sort through all of it, and I've been wanting to do that for a long time now. But uh, probably over two years now, but I just haven't. So yeah, and, and yes, yeah, so some of the stuff, the pieces are dirty, so I need to clean them and then build them, and then. I'll probably be missing a few pieces, or a few pieces will be damaged, so then I'd have to you know, brick link and order new pieces. But um, yeah. A anyways, um, I'll, I'll probably just do a video on my like recent sets. I titled it my I believe the um the sets in the oldest ones like 2018. So I'll just do like my 2018 to 2020 set collection or something like that, um, I don't know, and then eventually once I get around to, like, doing some of my older stuff, then I'll just do another video on that, but, um, I, I didn't have any crazy sets, so it's not really, like, that, but, uh, anyways, um, but anyways, uh, I'm rambling on now. I'm in this one off here. I'll have several other videos coming out later this week, so you can check those all out. But um, I've been Star Wars Review, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Pilots. You are the Empire's strength. We do not accept defeat. Remember why we fly.